Yo, what's good, everybody? In today's video, I'm be teaching you guys how I can actually go pro on console. So I know a lot of my console viewers out there, and a lot of people that are subbed to me actually play on a console. So today, I thought I would give you guys the best tips and tricks on how you can actually go pro on console. Real quick, before video starts, so if you guys want to support me and you're new to the channel, subscribe to the channel if you're new. We're trying to get 23,000 subscribers by the end of the month. If you're new sub to the channel, turn on notice right now, and then comment down below hashtag new sub, and I will heart and reply to every single person that does comment that. If you guys want to support me even more, if these Videos help you out at all please use code kdog and item shop it's the best way to support me and it does help me out a lot more than you guys think but without further ado let's get straight into this video all right so the first thing and this is going to be one of the bigger things and it is one of the most important things it is being on a next gen console um nowadays there are so many people that place in con um like actual pc cash cups just because they're on a next gen console if you're on an old-gen console, in my opinion, it is almost impossible to place in PC events and console-only events, which is something I'll get into a little bit more later. I do think it is still possible, but it is going to be very, very difficult to actually be able to place in PC events on a old-gen console. By old-gen, I mean like PS4 and the Xbox, anything that's on 60 FPS. Even if you're on a new-gen console, you're going to want to make sure that you get a 120 hertz monitor because if you're on new-gen but you're still on 60 FPS, it's pretty much just the exact same thing as a PS4. So I know that right now, now it is very hard to get a next gen playstation but if you guys really cannot afford a playstation then you can go and get a next gen xbox and then you'll at least have one console tournament per uh season which is the console champions cup to play in and next gen xboxes are only like 300 dollars, so they're really inexpensive for like 120 fps gaming um console and then for an actual monitor, the price for those are around $200. So if you want to get a 120 hertz monitor, then those are going to be around $200. So in total, if you're getting a Xbox plus a monitor, it's going to be about $500. But the next thing that I wanted to talk about is why you should actually get a PS5 either way. So basically, if you guys could, um, if you guys have been like able to tell, PlayStation has been putting a lot of money into Fortnite. They're having tournaments every single month since like January, and they're going all the way until the summer months. But PlayStation also did just invest over two billion dollars in epic games so that means that we're probably going to be seeing a lot of playstation cups in the future so if you guys are good enough and you know that you can go pro just from your skill alone then i would recommend investing the money into a ps5 because those are the things that are going to be getting most of the cups in the future xbox really hasn't seemed to care much about fortnite competitive um recently in the last like year plus had what so whenever they had their last xbox cup which is like forever ago but now enough about consoles let's get into actually what you guys should should be practicing to get better on console so that you are able to go pro what i would recommend is that you guys are working a lot more on your aim instead of mechanics with the new way that fortnite has been um heading into and like the new metas it seems like it's a lot more just spraying meta like whoever has better aim in a spray battle is going to win the fight so what i'd recommend is you guys just focus heavy on your aim and game sense and less on things like me flashy mechanics so what i'm saying by that is if you guys have just been playing creative a bunch i'd recommend starting to get into more things like vod reviewing and maybe just playing arena so you can actually like learn how to like become a smarter fighter but then also learn how the game actually works and playing for a lot more placement playing for a placement in the um cash cups like especially solo cash cups and duo cash cups is going to be really important to you guys if you want a chance to um actually make round two so now since cash cups are round two qualifiers and you don't have to get within the top like five in round one which is really rng and you have to have a very good w key game to actually do that you can just play a lot more consistently now throughout round one and round two in cash cups so especially if you're going to be broad reviewing like controller pros which is something i recommend doing just to see how they actually play the game and how they even use their aim and aim assist if you're on console and you're on a next gen console you actually do have stronger aim assist than somebody on pc so you just want to make sure that you're using all your actual like things that you have to you to your advantage which even though there's not many there still is quite a bit of advantages such as aim assist and then that's why you should just recommend or not recommend that that's why you should just work on things like your aim and your game sense just simple things like that but other than that if you guys have any other tips and tricks for people comment to them below in the comment section that's pretty much all for today's video though sub up to the channel if you guys are new remember trying to get 23k by the end of the month this is okay that i'm shocked if you want to support me even more hope you guys enjoyed this video though watch it all the way through if you want to support me for even more but other than that catch you guys next time peace out